With us this morning, Arizona Roller Derby and Calgary Roller Derby. Welcome to both teams. My name is Colin. I'm joined here by my friend, Colonel Skirts. Say hi, Colonel. Oh, hey. Hi. hi. I'm very excited to be here today. Watch some amazing roller derby here in the Derby Depot, Salt Lake City, Utah. And for anyone who is following along on the live stream, I am watching the comment section. If you have questions about what's going on in the game, if you want to give a shout out to a skater or an official or anyone else, hit us up on the YouTube stream and I'll see if I can answer those questions for you. We'll go over a couple of our sponsors this morning. We've got Triple Eight, 187 Killer Pads and Adobe. They're getting excited. We're about a minute and 20 seconds away from game time, start of this great Jello Bowl weekend. I love the first game of a tournament because everyone's really excited still. Haven't hit that fatigue, those ice baths. You're happy. I mean, I think you're happy the whole time, but you're really happy that first game. Speaking of happy, here come our officials out onto the track. Can't do it without them, love to hate them, but here they are. Thanks to all of our officials, all of our volunteers, anybody who's here to make roller derby happen. We cannot do it without you. So thank you very much. Just waiting for the whistle from our jam timer, doesn't matter. We'll be getting this game underway. There it is. Already got a couple of shout outs on the live stream feed for Arizona. We are underway here. We got 004 for Calgary. It's the jammer. Let's see who got out first. Both jammers came out of the front of the pack pretty quickly there. Looks like Arizona got lead, but Calgary is in the lead currently. So Arizona's going to smartly call off that jam. 00 on our first jam. And that was Projectile and Frida. Jammers from last jam. Jammer for Calgary is 1116. Chris, my ass. For Arizona, we've got West Coast Mafia 313. Both jammers tied up in the pack here between the jammer and pivot line. Chris May is going to get recycled by Arizona's pivot. Oh, and around and around she goes. Getting that lead jammer. About to hit that pin. Being pulled back, way back by Kiki. Looks like Calgary's having a little bit of trouble with the penalties, giving West Coast a good chance of getting some more points there. Getting some O. And back on through for another four points. First, first points of the game here coming on a power jam, like Colonel was saying. We've got a couple in the penalty box, including the jammer. 
That's never good. You want to tend to avoid that. But sometimes it happens. Some nice blocking down here by Calgary in the 3-4 Apex. Oh, and calling it off. It's a nice, let's see, 12-point jam for Arizona. Break and seal. All right, so we've got 3381 Hella Naughty jamming for Arizona. Number 167, that's Ferris Bruiser. I like that name that's a good for one. Calgary. First official time out of the game. Hopefully we won't have too many of these. It's time to collect your thoughts. Right. Let's see what you're going to do next, next jam. Have a nice chat. Mostly making sure that they got the points right, which is, at the end of the day, the most important thing. It's a little important. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tiny bit. Well, I think this is a good time to talk about um, our donors. We want to give a thank you to Trader Joe's, Keto Chow, Ritual Chocolate, Mill Creek Common, Bailey's Bites Protein Balls, Cozy Spoonfills Protein Balls, and Culinary Crafts. All right, looks like we're gonna get going again. Lots of shout outs on the live stream here for both teams. We got Lee Jam, Arizona. How you doing there, Mama Gasp? Good to see you. It's like Ferris is out of the pack for Calgary, but not lead because the star had been removed. We're going to go 0 0 on that jam and reset. All right, and we have got number 44, Cherry Kiss for Arizona on the jam line. That's 201, Curb Stomp and Colshaw for Calgary. Some really nice blocking by both teams here. We haven't moved, but about five feet from the jammer line. Colshaw is going to try to go to the outside, but gets taken out by number 22 on Arizona. Lead jammer now to Arizona. All right, we still have, oh, we've got Arizona coming up on their first scoring pass. A little bit of a trip, but there it happens. Again through, calling it off for four points. Oh, three points, here we go. Yeah, it looks like we didn't pass one of those blockers, but we'll, you know. Colshaw did make it out of the pack on that, was almost in to score for Calgary, but not quite there before it was called off by Arizona. All right, and the first time today we've got number 10, Frida, for Arizona jamming. And that's 0 4 projectile taking a big hit from Sherman there from uh, Arizona, but returns the favor on the inside line. A little pile up, everybody's back up and moving again. And that's projectile outside line, finds a hole. Lee Jammer, Calgary. Let's see what they can do with it. Oh, and a nice sneaky star pass to our pivot. Alex, uh, captain, number seven there for Arizona. Skatey Katie taking the star pass. Calgary manages to put one point up on the board on that. That's a hard-earned one point, but everyone counts. All right. We got 313 West Coast jamming again for Arizona. And 1116 again, Chris My Ass for Calgary. Full packs, nobody in the penalty box. Nice work by Calgary's blockers there. 
Sending the Arizona Jammer to the outside, gets recycled to the back, now fighting at the back of the pack, Calgary's blockers. But while we're at it, that's Chris my ass out for lead jammer for Calgary once again. And Arizona's jammer just breaking through the pack. Chris my ass is gonna grab a few points there and call it off quickly before Arizona can come in and get any, looks like two points there for Calgary. Nice work on that one, Chris my ass. These have been some really quick jams. I must say, kind of switching back and forth to that uh, quick points and caught off. Yeah, I mean, we're seven seven minutes in to the half. We're on jam six already, so, yep, getting them done. Mm -hmm. All right, number 3381, Helenata jamming for Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ferris Bruiser for Calgary, out for lead jammer very quickly. Arizona still stuck in the pack, but working hard to get to change that. Ferris Bruiser now on a scoring trip at the back of the pack, up against a pretty strong three wall there from Arizona. Ferris gets the call from the bench. Jam is called. Two more points for Calgary. Ooh, and I thought there might be some points, but it looks like. They kept them at zero for Arizona. All right, number 44, Cherry Kiss jamming for Arizona. 201, Colshaw again for Calgary. Four for Arizona, lead jammer. There was kind of a big hit there at the front, but that blocker went out of bounds, and so they were able to get right back on the track and calling it off for another four points. Colshaw was out of the pack, but about a half track behind when the jam was called, so 4-0 jam, favor to Arizona. That's some good jammer awareness for the Arizona jammer. A lot of times you get caught up and go back into that pack when you don't need to. Save yourself some pain. Legally. All right, we got number 10, Frida for Arizona jamming. We got projectiles, there's our four for Calgary. It's like it took a few jams here for uh, everybody. Nice, really nice move there. That was pretty. On, on one foot, the outside line there by projectile to get lead jammer for Calgary. Like a figure skater. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Those Calgary Sneaky blocks. little start pass off to number seven, the pivot for Arizona. Again, that's the second yes. time. I love those sneaky start passes. Calgary able to pick up three more points there. 23 to eight now our score, 10 minutes into the half. All right, we've got 90, oh, sorry. Uh, number 313, West Coast Mafia, jamming for Arizona. And 1116, Chris my ass one more time for Calgary. And with a sneaky little footwork on the inside line, we've got Arizona and the jammer, number 313. Chris, my ass now around the outside, out for Calgary, but Arizona's gonna call that one off. Four nothing jam, Arizona. Really quick, I wanna thank one of our sponsors, Adobe. Adobe is a global, global creative company that loves supporting their communities like Happy Valley Derby Darwins. All right, so we got uh, number 3381, um, Helenati, for Arizona Jamming against Ferris Bruiser. Uh, 167, Calgary.
Ferris Bruiser duking it out at the back there with Arizona's Jammers. Finds a hole on the outside around and lead jammer for Calgary. That was some good ducking under some butts. Get out of that pack. Once again, star pass to the pivot for Arizona. That is the captain number seven. Four points from our jammer for Calgary. 27-12, Calgary starting to pick away at this lead a little bit. Number 201, Coleshaw lined up for Calgary. 44, Cherry Kiss for Arizona. Full packs again, nobody in the penalty box. Got some ferocious tripods here. Nothing like slamming into a wall of bodies. Oh, big hit there at the front from 747, Calgary. That's Knox and uh, a, a, she really a well earned name. Him down. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Still haven't made it past the pivot line here in this jam yet. About 30 seconds in, both jammers still fighting for it. Yeah, this is some pretty solid blocking on both sides. It's yeah. pretty. But there it is. There Cherry Kiss go. finds the hole inside line. Turn one there. Lead jammer Arizona, but Coleshaw out behind about 30 feet back. Both jammers on a scoring trip now. I have a feeling uh, we might have a call off in the future. Yeah. I think that's a safe bet, and there it is. Another four points for Arizona. All right, we got number 10, or sorry, yeah, number 10, Frida for Arizona on the jam line. And 004 projectile once again for Calgary. <laughs> Tight packs once again, right off the line, just barely past the the pivot line now. Arizona's jammer. Frida's going to get knocked to the outside and recycled by Calgary. Back in it now. Projectile just stopped up there in turn one against the blocking crew from Arizona. Nice hit by number four from Arizona there. That's uh, Sherman. Going to take projectile all the way to the back. All right, and we've got lead for Arizona. Projectile still tied up, getting a little bit of offense there from Pivot. Arizona's blockers just glued onto Calgary's jammer, not even giving an inch. But star pass now to number 213, the Pivot for Calgary. That's Sleep. See if they can do something with that. I like that name. I love sleep. It's a good one. It's like our jammer referees having a chat with the head ref, make sure they got the points correct. That's three up for Arizona. 34 to 12 now our score. Just about halfway through the first half of our game this morning. We got 313 West Coast Mafia jamming for Arizona. Chris, my ass, once again wearing the star for Calgary. Chris, my ass, taken out by number nine there from Arizona. Recycled the back. Looks like Arizona just got lead. All you got to do is get those hips around, and looks like she did, so. Big hit onto that Arizona jammer, forcing her, or forcing them to call it off. Poor Calgary can sneak any of those points. However, they got one. They did get one. We got, one. We got two. Or, we, Arizona got two. I mean, I'm announcing for you, so. Thanks. I, I appreciate I just, that. You know. 
I've also played against Arizona quite a few times in my day. They're yeah. always lovely to play against. I've, uh, I've officiated for both of these teams in the past. Um, they're absolutely fantastic. It's really nice to see some of these faces in the building, people I haven't seen for several years, actually. Ferris Bruiser, 167, the jammer for Calgary, working at the back of the pack here. Very tight, strong uh, three wall by Arizona. Yeah, 3381, uh, Helen picking up lead. Oh, whistles going from the outside pack ref there. Oh, oh no. no. I take it back. We are, we've got a penalty for Helen I, I think I saw I think it was maybe a high, block. high block. Yeah, that's what signal from Spike there. It's gonna so that game. means power jam and lead is still open for Calgary. Let's see if Ferris can get out of this out of this pack. Back on her feet. Oh, we're gonna go full two minutes here. Jam ref says no pass, no penalty. So there is no lead jammer in this jam. No lead for you. Nice catch there by the captain, number seven, at the end there to try to uh, take out Ferris, but goes out of bounds as well, so no pass, no penalty on that. Four more points for Calgary and a star pass now for Arizona. Yes, the captain picking up that star pass again, becoming quite the pro, or I should say already the pro, at the star pass. Oh, boy. Up there, well, we'll cut track. Calgary right. or Calgary blocker is pulling that cut track right as our jam or Arizona's jammer was re-entering the pack. This is the kind of jam Calgary needs to put some points on the board, catch up a little bit. You never want to see it on the uh, on the backs of penalties, but sometimes that's what you got to do. Ferris calls off the jam. Going to put a fresh set of legs out on the track. 12-point jam for Calgary. 37-25 now our score. Calgary going to start with Colshaw on the track and the Arizona jammer in the box. Yeah, that was a great jam for Calgary. I mean, it was always a close game, but now it's even closer. So we have uh, number seven, Skatey Katie, in that penalty box, just being released as the jammer for Arizona. Lead jammer, Calgary. Both jammers on the track, like Colonel said. But Colshaw now in the pack and scoring up against some stiff resistance in front of the pack from Arizona, but Working around, one left to go, that's number 41. That's number 41, Joliet Jane. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the rosters here. I don't have everybody memorized. It's Cole Shaw now. saying, no, I do not want to be the jammer, but yes, I will be the jammer <laughs> as they break the back. Cole Shaw now around on their third scoring trip. Arizona's jammer out of the pack as well. Jam's called. Let's see what the jam ref says. One point. So, nine point jam. 37, 34. This is getting spicy. I like it. It's a close game. You can tell that these teams are very closely matched, and that always makes for some good roller derby. It takes a little bit of time to get used to a, a track you haven't skated on a lot and different environment. Our nice Salt Lake City elevation, weather, the whole enchilada. I'm going to take a moment to talk about some prizes that we have available in our prize drawings. Tickets are $1 per ticket or $20 for an arm span length of your favorite skater. If I were you, I would think that I would want kick and assets arm span for those tickets. Because, I don't know, what's that, like six, six foot easily? Maybe Vimes. 
Some of the stuff you can get in there, total derby package, 187 killer pads, that's elbow, knee, and wrist guards, triple eight sweat saver, gold glitter helmet, ooh, very nice. KP44 knees and a gear 40 duffel pack, all donated by our sponsors, 187 killer pads and triple eight. That is a nice price. There are more, skate and summit basket, four skate and four rock climbing passes to Mill Creek Common and Mill Creek, skater t-shirt, roller derby hat, Skate laces and lots of other goodies donated by Mill Creek Common. If you have not been to Mill Creek Common, it is a super fun place. They have roller skating all summer, ice skating in the winter time. They're doing uh, music and events as well. Pretty fantastic spot. All right, and it looks like our officials have finished having a little chit chat. Ready to get going again. We got number 44. Sorry, Cherry Kiss. Thank you. Uh, Jim for Arizona. And looks like Skidlet, number 182 for Calgary. That's going to be the first time on the track for Skidlet as a jammer. Skidlet taken down to the outside. But Arizona blockers getting a multiplayer. Oh no, and Skidlet going to the penalty box as well. I didn't see the call on that one. Little confusion in the penalty box about which side they're supposed to be sitting on. Got that all sorted out now. But you know what that means? What's that? That's a power jam for Arizona. It is indeed a power jam for Arizona. Not what Calgary wants to see right now, but Calgary's blockers are doing a pretty good job of holding up Cherry Kiss right now. Lee yeah. Jammer still has not been established. It is a little difficult for Arizona only having two blockers on the track, but you know, they're, they're doing what they can. Yep. Make the best out of a kind of rough situation. Calgary's jammer, Skidlet now out of the penalty box. Also full packs for Arizona again. Everybody's out and back on the track now. Skidlet out of the pack first, not lead jammer because she went to the penalty box. So Arizona can still get lead and call this thing off if Cherry Kiss can get out of the pack. Nice little spin by Skidlet, front of the pack there, four points for Calgary. That, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. is a lead change. What? Yep. Now those Calgary blockers are definitely giving Cherry the what for on the track. This has been a rough jam for Cherry Kiss. Still not out of the pack. Getting knocked down once again to the infield by Calgary's blockers. And we got quite a long pack here. You don't see a, a pack stretched out yeah. for half of the track very often. We used, to, uh, we used to do drills with referees to see if they could identify how long the pack could, could be. And that's just about as long as it gets right there. It is. Some nice work here by Calgary to uh, flip the scoreboard in their favor. 37-42 now our score, Calgary in the lead. All right, we got number 10, Frida, jamming for Arizona. Chris my ass, 1-1-1-6 one, 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 again for Calgary. Almost out the front there. Oh, looks like we're gonna, we're gonna take a break here. We got Calgary skater uh, down on the track, so we are gonna have our medical staff come out and check on them. Skaters will return to their benches. Roller derby is, of course, a full contact sport. Sometimes bumps and bruises happen. We definitely appreciate our medical staff helping keep us taken care of. We'll go ahead and uh, go over the rest of our uh, the rest of our prizes here while we uh, take a break. Sounds like we've got some mini charcuterie boards. Hmm, I might have to go check those out because I do like a good charcuterie board. I am obsessed with them. It's just a delicious food. It's, it's true. I mean, how can you be? Little finger cheeses, you, you know, little 
meats. You can't. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> Handmade boards featuring Utah cheeses, strawberries, ritual chocolates, mm, yummy, and other goodies. Two mini boards are available, one alcoholic and one non-alcoholic. All right, well, that's good to know. We also have a Trader Joe's snack bag, which uh, has a reusable Utah tote bag filled with Trader Joe's snacks and treats donated by Trader Joe's in Arm. I love Trader Joe's. I do as well. Man, this is, I, I might have to get tickets for all of these. Yeah, I was just thinking I might actually have to go yeah. buy a, a wingspan of, uh, of tickets here. Next on the list for prizes is the Fuel Up Bundle. Looks like our down skater is up and headed back to the medic box. Get checked out. Glad to see them up and rolling again. We'll wait to get the signal from our jam timer doesn't matter. Get the game rolling again. That Fuel Up Bundle is a basket of keto chow products like variety electrolyte mixes and other supplements, Bailey's Bites protein balls, Cozy Spoonfuls protein balls, and a variety of Lara bars to help you fuel this Jello Bowl weekend. Donated by Keto Chow, Bailey's Bites, and Cozy Spoonfuls. I was just about to say that it was getting a little quiet in here, and then Matt piped up with the whistle for the end of the timeout. All right, we got number 10, Frida, jamming for Arizona. Chris My Ass for Calgary, knocking down jammers on the way through. It's Chris My Ass, lead jammer, Calgary. Well, let's see, and it looks like we have a star pass for Arizona. Some really nice blocking up there by Arizona, trying to get Chris my ass down and out. That's number 24. Yeah, I'm, I'm a blow by you. I have played against I'm a before, and those are some solid hits. Yep, <laughs> there's a lot of roller derby experience in that human there. Yes. It's been around a very long time. Kind of like you and me, <laughs> old. Hey, we're, we're ref refined. Refined. Is that, is that how we're calling it? Derby aged. 5-0 yeah. <laughs> jam, 37-47 our score. Just about five minutes left in the half here, folks. The score is still very close, but we are seeing it lean a little bit more towards Calgary. Let's see what Arizona can do to make up that deficit. We got 3-1-3 West Coast Mafia jamming for Arizona. Ferris Bruiser fighting to stay on her feet there. One hand down, out of bounds. Not a cut, so back up again. Ferris goes, oh, out again by the captain, number seven from Arizona. Is that West Coast for Arizona? Mm -hmm. And they just, they're trying to get past that uh, pivot line and they all just keep drawing them back. Yeah, I don't think we have actually passed the pivot line just yet. Maybe maybe here in a moment. Like the waves of the sea. Once again, a pretty spread out pack. Calgary going to set a bridge in the middle there, but now going to go up and give a little bit of offense for Ferris, see if he can break up that Arizona wall. You know, again, I think it really yeah. shows how evenly matched these teams are when you don't make it past the pivot line after a minute of derby. That's some intense strategy, blocking and jamming. West Coast out, lead jammer now for Arizona. In on a scoring pass as well. Calgary's jammer now there as well. Going to call it off. Looks like, I think we're going to go 0-0 on that one. Oh, we got, we got one, two, two. Two, okay. Two for Arizona. All right. Couldn't see the other jam ref. There she is. Helenati on the line again as jammer for Arizona. Colshaw, number 201, the jammer for Calgary. Very tight pack here at the back. Will we have a repeat of last jam? 
I don't know. Oh, nice move there by Colshaw, staying inbounds. Out for lead jammer. Colshaw was up on the front truck of one skate to get by there. That was pretty nice moves. Yeah, that, that is some strength right there to stay inbounds on one toe stop. Colshaw in the pack now on a scoring trip. Arizona's jammer still stuck in the pack, hasn't made it out on initial yet. Some heavy blocking from Calgary. Oh. Get some nice offense there from teammate number 95. That's gonna be lightning, lightning the queen. The queen. All right, jam's called. Three points now for Calgary. We got two minutes, 27 seconds left in this. Looks like Arizona's gonna burn a timeout here, uh, kind of chat about a few things, see if they can't collect themselves a little bit. Yeah, not a lot of time left in this first half. But you know, you can do a lot in two minutes. Definitely not an insurmountable lead. This is a very close game. Some really good roller derby. I, I always love these moments with my team on the track. Chat about strategy. Maybe just how your day's going. You know, favorite food. How much you enjoy being in Utah. It's a good time. This is a good time. I was just chatting with our uh, scorekeeping team over here. Wanted to see if I could throw a little bit of stats at you. The last nine jams, Calgary has held Arizona to two points. A little feedback from uh, Happy Valley's Captain Sookie there telling us we're not loud enough. Maybe just Colonel, though. I'm new. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're doing pretty good for, a new, for the new guy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'll always take praise. Well, Shout out I to Sookie. Thank you for uh, telling me to be louder. I don't get that a lot. Yeah, I got that in a game I was announcing not too long back. It was like, this is probably the first time in my whole derby career I've ever been accused of being not loud enough. I, I truly can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like the timeout turned into an official review. Uh, yes, I think it did, and that's actually a, a really smart move by the Arizona coaching staff there because even if, even if they can't win this review, um, they're not going to waste one of their timeouts. For those of you who don't know, most of the people who are watching and all the people that are in this room know this, the uh, teams get three timeouts per game, and once they're gone, they're gone. But they also get an official review where they can ask for clarification on a decision by the officiating staff. Looks like Arizona's coach has done that. But the great thing about that is you can't take the review with you from period to period. So smart move here to just get a timeout, get some clarification on a few things um, at the end of the jam using that review. That was a very good explanation, sir. Thanks. <laughs> it's a thing I have done as a coach. So both these teams are in the, was it, northwestern region? Yes. I need to brush up on the new region system with WFTDA. I've been um, working with the GRDA teams mostly for the last few few years, so I'm more familiar with their setup than I am with um, WFTDA. Let's see what our alt-ref Gypsy has to say. So it looks like the uh, review is uh, requesting a back block call. The jammer from the previous jam, the referees all agreed that there was not a back block, so no call. Arizona will lose a review for the period. And we're off again with a new jam. 004 projectile for Calgary, out for lead jammer, but number 44, Cherry Kiss for Arizona, out behind, about 30 feet back. 
Pack setting up down here in turn three. Nope, they're going to move. And doing one of my favorite strategies, you run that pack, you go fast to try and protect your points. Projectile slips out there in turn two. Calls it off from the ground outside. 1-1 one, one jam, 40 to 51. Minute and a half left in the in that the period. That was a hard-earned one point. Yes, it was. Get your laps in on that one. All right, we got Frida jamming for Arizona. Chris my ass on the track with the star for Calgary again. Full packs once again. I'll have to go chat with the uh, penalty box officials. Oh, Chris my ass finds a spot on the outside. Lee jammer Calgary again. A little bit of a pile up there with the Arizona blockers. We got some sneaky star passing. Kind of the psych out method, I guess. Do I have it? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I was saying before, I need to uh, check in with the penalty box staff at halftime here and get some, uh, get some numbers, because while there have been a few, a few uh, folks in the penalty box, in fact, here comes one now, I don't think there's been a lot of penalties in this first period. It's been a pretty clean game so far. It has, and that is fun derby to watch. Nice little oh, apex beautiful. jump there. Some fancy jump moves right there by number 44, Cherry. Score now 44-57, a 4-6 jam to Calgary. And unless somebody calls a timeout, we are not going to have another jam in this period. My guess is we're going to let the clock run out and go to halftime. And there it is. That's the half. 44 to 57, our score. Colonel and I are going to take a little bit of a break. We'll be back in 15.
All right, we're about three minutes away from derby time. Start this second half in the Arizona Roller Derby All-Stars versus the Calgary Roller Derby All-Stars. All of the All-Stars. All the time. And then Happy Valley has some upcoming events. So come join us May 18th for our home team season opener. Game starts at 6.45 p.m. And it'll be an action-packed night at Derby. Go over our uh, vendors that we have here this weekend. Some pretty cool stuff out there. I was just walking around in the crowd. Um, creating Paisley. It's cute original artwork with prints, stickers, and buttons. Rise Bodywork, decrease pain, increase performance with Rise Bodywork, especially for our skaters, giving it all their all this weekend. What's the, what is it, Taco, Taco Tacos? Probably that. Okay. Just getting the word here, if you haven't noticed the big red food truck in the parking lot, you should. Looks like delicious food. Go out there, grab yourself a snack, bring it on back. 
watch this second half of roller derby. More on our vendors, Hell Bell, Hell's Bell design. Derby fan home decor and accessories, including stickers, tattoos, koozies, artwork, and more. A little bit of everything there. Uh, I'm going to say your name wrong here, so I apologize, but uh, Satara Lynn, unique polymer clay earrings, keychains, and more. Yeah, made by Mooner, not just for Derby. We also have great Mother's Day gift ideas. Stop by our table to see for yourself. And go over there and see my friend Miss Disco Bliss at the Hellsgate table, a supernatural roller derby art comic and film project, a story of betrayal, obsession, possession, and revenge. You know, a love story. Everything you enjoy. <laughs> We've got Funky Frame Friends, Funky Frame Friends, original whimsical art prints, and custom made uniquely shaped 3D printed frames. Forever by Ash also, permanent jewelry, all natural skincare products, hair accessories, and hair tinsel empowering everyone and celebrating their beauty in every form. Oh yeah, and there is our, right there on the list, Ole Mad Toro is a Mexican food truck. They are outside, be here all day. They want to make tacos for you and other sundries. I intend to visit them after this game. Good. For me, every day is Taco Tuesday. That is a fact. <laughs> Every day should be Taco Tuesday. Agreed. All right, we're ready to get going in the second half. We've got Frida from Arizona as our jammer. And we have got number 201. That's Curb Stomp and Colshaw again for Calgary. Calgary does have one skater in the box, or two skaters in the box, actually. So it'll make things a little bit harder for Colshaw, but those two Calgary blockers doing a pretty good job of containing Frida right now. And in every blocker's favorite thing, Sleep is the only blocker on yep. the track for Calgary, but doing quite a good job. Yep. Got a couple blockers now back for Calgary. Going to try and make some trouble, get Colshaw out of the pack. But no, getting recycled now by Lightning in the back here. Frida in and through, four points for Arizona. Arizona's blocking out front. Quite vicious, holding that Calgary jammer for quite some time. We got Frida with another four points and calling it off. Had a star pass there just before the end of the jam. Number 12, the pivot. Ruthless Red took the star. 52-57, our score. Arizona, nice first jam of the second period to bring that score a little closer. They must have had a really nice chat at halftime. Yep. All right, we got West Coast. And Projectile for Calgary. Yeah, well. <laughs> I'm just adding vowels on weird words. Anyways. There it is, West Coast out lead jammer for Arizona once again, taking control of this second period. West Coast being a very productive jammer for Arizona. Projectile out of the pack now, coming around West Coast gonna Shut this one down and stop Calgary from scoring. I think Arizona managed to pick up a point. Yes, one point, 53, 57. One point, four points separate this score. We had a bit of a flip flop with uh, penalties there. Now we have Arizona with only two blockers on the track, but two very capable blockers. Oh, Chris my ass, and I'm a blow by you. Going at it in the front there. Chris my ass going to make it through. First, Lee Jammer, Calgary. Yeah. 
Arizona's out of the pack now. Chris my ass threw four four points. I'm a blow by and still giving Chris my ass a bunch of problems up there. That's what Ima does best. It's true. I've experienced it. <laughs> All right, we got Cherry Kiss wearing the Jammer Star for Arizona. And Ferris Bruiser once again for Calgary. Arizona's blockers doing a great job there at the front, but Calgary's jammer just squeaking out uh, behind Calgary's lead jammer. We've got Arizona right behind. And again, we're going to have a fast pack. Trying to protect those points. Ferris Bruiser coming into the pack down here in turn three. Going to maybe pick up a point call it off let's see yes one point for calgary these are some massive jams yeah i mean they're not not huge amounts of points but big hard hitting jams we're only you know four we're four jams in now score hasn't changed a ton and i think you might have jinxed them because we are we're seeing some some penalty issues now i was just thinking that because i went and looked at the the paperwork at halftime and really weren't a lot of penalties in the first half but uh seems like uh particularly calgary at the moment having some trouble with penalties we got arizona with cherry lee jammer or sorry frida And that's Skidlet 182 for uh, Calgary there. Almost making it in for some points. And but again, one, one point jam. One point. You know, they all count. They do. They we said that before. They all count. All right, we've got West Coast Mafia jamming for Arizona. And Projectile 004 for Calgary. Projectile going to try to do a little bit of defense there. Didn't work out so well. Arizona out, Lee Jammer. Again, West Coast, quite an effective jammer. Calgary's trying to figure out how to, how to shut that jammer down, but they were able to squeak by and get four points on the inside line. Nice little sidestep by Projectile there up in the inside of turn one to go around captain number seven for Arizona. Little, too little, too late, though. Jam's called. And we're on to a new one. Chris My Ass, 1-1, one, 1-6 one, one, on the track for Calgary. And Helenati, Jammer for Arizona. <laughs> it's like uh, Calgary's pivot lost the, uh, the stripe there. Sent flying to the infield. Both Lucky. jammers out of the pack. Arizona's got lead, but they are right on top of each other. Chris Mahas going to overtake in turn three, force the call off. 0-0. Zero, zero. All right. We now have Cherry Kiss, 44, jamming for Arizona. Got Ferris Bruiser jamming for Calgary. And the blockers starting up front. Oh, no, here they come. Rolling back. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. Uh, Are they going to start on the pivot line? What? What's happening? Ferris Bruiser trying to go side to side, get around these Arizona blockers. A little help from her friend there. Oh, and unfortunately, we've got a trap cut for Arizona Jammer Cherry Kiss. But, leaving it open. Yep. Ferris Bruiser, though, still on initial, and we haven't gotten past turn two yet. We're a little over 30 seconds into the jam. 
Let's see what Ferris can do with it. No pass, no penalty. The signal from the outside Packraft there, but Ferris is going to play it safe and go around to the back. There it is, Lee Jammer, Calgary. But Arizona's Jammer back on the track now, going to play a little defense at the back, try to slow Ferris down. But Ferris out, four more points for Calgary. All right, we got Jerry. Cherry, Cherry, <laughs> getting through that back, putting that hat back on, trying to get some points. Steps through the inside line. Nice work there. Yes. Four more points for Arizona. 30, a little over 30 seconds. Probably not going to see a lead change in this jam, but we might in the next. And two more points for Arizona. All right, we got number 10, Frida, jamming for Arizona. Five points separate the teams. Back when Colonel and I started roller derby, five points would be possible in one pass, but you can't do that anymore. Yep, how the rules have changed. And honestly, as a, as a former referee, I'm glad to see the, the jammer lap point go away because that was one of the hardest things to get right as a referee. I think that's Skidlet for Calgary. Out for Lee Jammer. And Frida just fighting against that wall of Calgary blockers trying to get out of that pack. Skidlet now tangled up up front with uh, two Arizona blockers. Pushes them up out of play. Front pack ref gives the signal and four points go up in the air for Calgary. 64-73 now. Skidlet back in the pack. Already picked up a couple. Got Ima Blobaya coming out of the penalty box now. A full complement on the track for Arizona. Once again, Arizona blockers too far. No. That is an out of play block on a jammer. That does not happen very often. You do not see that very often. Um, so that lead is lost. So that's an interesting one. Um, I'll probably uh, chat with the refs about that one later because that looked like a confusing situation going on. Probably the right call, though. But we do have a star pass in this power jam situation. Skidlet now out of the penalty box. Going to be replaced by uh, one of her teammates there. Cuddy trying to get past that last blocker. Calgary looking for the cut trap there. Didn't get it. Jam ends on time. Let's get the scores. Yeah, that was, a, that was a crazy jam. It was a little bit of a crazy jam. Lo lots of wackiness, as I like to say. Our uh, scorekeeping team making sure they're getting all the numbers right. Score yeah, we down. got West Coast again jamming for Arizona. That's projectile 004 for Calgary up against a very tight three wall from Arizona in front of the pack. West Coast trying to go side to side, getting a little bit of help from the captain, number seven there, who sends herself flying out of bounds for her trouble. Sometimes we knock ourselves down in roller derby. It's true. There All it is. All right, West Coast again with Lee Jammer. This is a great opportunity for Arizona, make up some of that point differential there. Nice work by Taz from uh, Calgary there, taking West Coast back. Through but four points. Yep. West Coast managed to get back to it. All right, projectile now coming back from the penalty box. Full packs for both teams, both jammers on the track. 
Oh, projectile going to go way low on the outside there. The outside pack ref Spike nods his head, says everything's okay, and that is good initial pass for I'm Calgary. I'm still saying, you know, I think I'm done with this one. We're, we're just going to call it off. I probably, got my points. Probably a good time for that. 72-80 to 80 score, 8-0 eight jam, favor of Arizona on that last one. I love a good, tight game. Again, that is just good roller derby. It makes us all better, better people to watch. It does. Just about half the period gone here. Chris, my ass, working with the star for Calgary. And Helen Naughty with the star for Arizona getting knocked yeah. out and drawn all the way back. Whole bunch of bodies flying all over the place in the middle of the straightaway here. Chris, my ass, finally out. Lee Jammer, Calgary. Calgary once again splitting the packs here. All four Arizona Jammers on Chris My Ass. But no, now we got uh, Jess West coming back to pivot to take the star pass, see what she can do with it. But she now gets recycled by this Calgary wall. a good save uh, by number nine, Jess. Stop from getting a cut track there. Yeah, that's some good heads up play. Mm -hmm. That's a, another very experienced player there. Oh no. Pivot turn jammer, number nine, Jess West going to the penalty box for a forearm, says our outside pack ref. Kiss off. Oh, Chris, my ass, going to get taken down hard there in the inside of turn two, chooses to call it off. Um, probably a smart plan. 12, 12 more points now for Calgary. Nothing for Arizona. They're going to start with a jammer in the penalty box, but probably for not too much longer, I believe. Yeah, just, just is standing, so less than 10 seconds. Also an Arizona blocker in there, too. So Colshaw going to have the star for Calgary. Going to be working alone for about 10 seconds here. Swings to the outside. One more to beat. Oh, gets knocked out by the pivot. But she goes out of bounds too. Lead jammer Calgary. We got jammer Jess just jumping out of that penalty box and getting through that pack. saying this may not be my main job, but I can still get it done. Well, you know, the, you know the fun of being the pivot handed that star in jams like that where you're just like, oh, please no. And it's like, all right, I guess I'll do this now. The smile on my face. That's not how I remember that going, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Cherry Kiss with the jammer for Arizona. That's Ferris Bruiser in 167 for Calgary, fighting back and forth against Arizona blockers here. Gets knocked to the outside, recovers, but right into three Arizona blockers, manages to go around the outside. Lead jammer, Calgary. And this really is a hard hitting game. Yeah, people are getting people yeah, are getting sometimes you see it where it's around. a lot of just that positional blocking and slowing it down. They've got some pretty big hits going on. Which I like to see. It's just like that one there. It was tidbit from Calgary there taking uh, Cherry to the outside. Once again, Cherry back on the track. Taken inside again by Taz. Taz has been a really effective blocker this this game, this bout. Absolutely. Seems like a, a leader on the track too. Teammates looking at him for uh, for guidance. Yeah. 
Sherry Kiss drops the star on the inside. A little slow to get up. And, and Ferris line. Bruiser through the pack for only three points. Jamref says no pass, no penalty on one of them, so only three on that. Successful star pass to Cuddy. Entering in right behind Ferris, tripping up a little bit over their own skaters. It happens. That's going to be number 38, Colette Razorcat, taking Ferris all the way to the back down here in turn four. Whole bunch of whistles there right before the call off. Couple penalties, I think. 410 jam, favor Calgary, breaking 100 points there in that jam. 106 76, our score. Arizona's got some catching up to do. About 11 minutes to do it. Which is very doable. All right, we got Frida from Arizona as the jammer. Projectile, jammer for Calgary. Wow. Yep. That was fast. Almost untouched up the inside line. And now in for first scoring pass. Whoa. With a big hit from Arizona, bringing projectile back into the pack. Frida still trying to work against that yep. tripod in the back. That was uh, number 88, Ms. Murder, which um, is now projectile working against at the moment. That is a well-earned derby name because that is some amazing blocking by that skater. And unfortunately, we did have a penalty for the Arizona Jammers, sending them to the box. Meaning we'll start this next jam with a power jam for Calgary. However, Arizona taking a timeout. Time to, uh, you know, regroup. Chat about what's going on. I think this is a great time to mention our sponsors. We've got Triple Eight. Triple Eight developed the certified sweat saver with its best skaters, engineers, and testing facilities to bring you the safest helmet options for roller derby. Try it out for yourself. We also have 187 Killer Pads. 187 Killer Pads, worn by the most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. Over our donors for um, the event, Trader Joe's, Keto Chow, Ritual Chocolate, Milk Creek Common, Bailey's Bites Protein Balls, Cozy Spoonfuls Protein Balls, and culinary crafts. Thanks to all of them. All right, so we have about 10 minutes left in this la or second half. All right, back at it. Calgary on a power jam now. Arizona doing a really good job holding that jammer back. And that's Skidlet, 182, going to get lead for Calgary. Calgary is a bench coach. Really want him to skate. Yes, I have a feeling that that is some sort of instruction to the track, but I have yet to figure out what it is. <laughs> All right, and we've got one point, or no, two points for Arizona. Looks like we have. Um, let's see what's going on here. I got a timeout on the track. Looked like the skaters just kind of stopped and were standing there in turn two going, what, what are we doing? I'm guessing we had uh, some kind of technical error or something going on that the uh, officials are dealing with. Uh, okay, some technical difficulties with the scoreboard. Um, I mean, CRG having issues. Shocked, I say, shocked. Well, let's mention the square link on our live stream. If 
you look at your stream, you'll see a little box there in the bottom corner. You can go ahead and take your fancy phone and uh, scan that square link. So these two teams are in the west northwestern region, which, as I am from Utah, I must say is my favorite, but I do enjoy all derby, so. However, it is exciting. When I first started, it was regions yep. as well, so going back to it is like a fun little blast from the past. But it is a whole new system, but they have some great explanations of what's going on on the WFTDA website. I highly recommend checking it out. All right, working to uh, get the, the clock corrected here. So kind of a long time out, but skaters might, uh, might appreciate a little bit of a long break. Nine minutes left in this game. So as a reminder, we do have some prize drawings. Uh, tickets are $1 ticket or 24 an arm span length of your favorite skater, which is usually around 30 tickets, but it could be more. Pick which prizes you put your tickets towards. You don't need to be present to win, but you must be able to pick up your prize. They do not want to hold on to your prizes forever. If you don't come and get them, Colonel, and I will take them for you. This is true. <laughs> I would like any of them, so. Agreed. So, on to those prizes. The total derby package. Can you call backslash? Backslash to the dais, please. Backslash, please report to the dais. All right. We're going to get our, uh, our producer and GTO for the weekend, uh, Backslash, up here to help us out with our... Uh, technical difficulties. Round of applause for Backslash doing all the hard work. Prize packages, the total derby package, 187 killer pads, triple eight sweat saver, gold glitter helmet, KP44 knees, a gear 40 duffel pack, all donated by our sponsors, 187 killer pads and triple eight. We have a skate and summit basket. Four skate and four rock climbing passes to Mill Creek Common and Mill Creek. A skater t-shirt, roller derby hat, skate laces, and a lot of other goodies donated by Mill Creek Commons. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta go buy some tickets. I really wanna win a charcuterie board. I'm really kinda stuck on this today. Um, so, mini charcuterie boards, handmade boards featuring Utah cheeses, strawberries, ritual chocolates, and other goodies. Two mini boards are available, one alcoholic and one non-alcoholic. Looks like uh, some of Calgary's jammers are uh, doing some laps around the outside here, trying to stay warm. That's probably very smart. Um, it is it's a beautiful day out here in Salt Lake City. Um, nice and sunny, good temperature, but this building tends to stay pretty cool in the mornings, and uh, it is that. It's a strange phenomenon on how cold this building can stay, which is great if you're a skater and it's wicked hot, yeah. Not absolutely. great if you're a spectator. I think we should mention that the next game we have at 1 p.m. is Happy Valley Molly Morbids versus Minnesota. My guess is that there will be more butts in more seats than we have right now when Happy Valley takes the track, being that they are the home team. Thanks for the uh, correction on the region name. That's NA West, North America West is the. Oh, not, yeah. was I saying Northwest? North, Northwest, yeah. Excuse me, North America West. See, that's what the live stream comment section is for, is to make sure that Colonel and I are doing our jobs correctly. I try, I am still learning this new system as well, and I appreciate any, any help I can get. It's been a good chat going on here on the uh, on the live stream. We've been kind of keeping track of it. 
Looks like a lot of folks watching from Calgary. All right, we got Frida with the uh, Jammer star for Arizona. Number 201, Coleshaw fighting it out at the back with the Arizona blockers. Very tight tripod there. Backed up by the captain, number seven, who's going to come back. lead for Arizona. Unfortunately being brought back to the back of the pack. But really nice move by uh, number seven, the captain for Arizona, seeing their jammer being recycled, swooping over to stop the Calgary blockers from coming back, not take their jammer too far back. Nice heads up move by number seven. That's Skatey Katie. There's a big hit there at the back on Arizona's jammer. Again, just bridging out to the back. Trying to keep Arizona low scoring on this jam. Arizona does have control of the jam with lead jammer status. But Frida's saying, yeah, I'm gonna get those points. Frida's gonna shut that one down, reset. Three points, Arizona, 79-112, our score now. All right, we've got West Coast as the jammer for Arizona. Chris, my ass once again for Calgary. How's that penalty box looking? Pretty empty. That's a good thing. Chris, my ass smashing through. Nice little jump to get by. I'm a blow by. Uh, that was a beautiful little hop. There. It was fantastic. Lead jammer Calgary, and now on a scoring trip, but. Arizona's jammer is out of the pack too. Chris, my ass, fighting her way through. Four points, Calgary, but yes, Arizona did sneak That's one in at the end. One point. It may be one of my new favorite things in Derby. The sneaky one point. All right, we got Helen Naughty jammer for Arizona. Projectile. In just a little bit. Yeah, we're going to take a break. Somebody's calling the timeout here, I believe. Whose timeout was it, Matt? As a reminder, Happy Valley Derby Darlings <laughs> is always recruiting skaters, officials, and volunteers. Reach out to get involved today. Still trying to figure out which team called the timeout here, but ah, uh, looks like Matt is saying Arizona it's called the timeout. Here. Arizona's coach over here trying to pump up his skaters, keep them in the game. Again, the skill level of these teams really is showing how closely matched they are when you look at the rankings. Um, I kind of expected that from this game and the games this weekend, and so I'm very glad. We are going to transition from a team timeout to an official timeout. Looks like uh, the, uh, the refs have some things to chat about. The head ref is checking in with the jam timer. Probably something going on with the clock again, I think. I hope that this is not a, uh, an issue for the rest of the weekend. We'll have some time in between games here to get technology sorted out. Well, you know, I think, unfortunately, as much as you try, that first game may always have some, some little tweaks to the whole uh, getting ready for the whole weekend. But we have some very experienced and professional officials who are doing their best to make sure everything goes smoothly every game yeah absolutely it's a it's a tough job i'm not jealous i'd rather get hit on the track to be honest that's fair i uh i do miss i do miss officiating sometimes i miss you officiating oh <laughs> um looks like we're gonna 
activate the um, alt ref gypsy here. It's going to pop in for Spike, who's going to take a load off for the rest of the game. Because, you know, roller derby is, is quite a contact sport as well for officials at times. And sometimes that's why you have alternates. Sometimes you got to swap them out. Things happen. Yep. Gypsy's going to take a few warm-up laps. Got the Calgary Jammers rolling the outside again as well, trying to stay warm. Guess this is probably as good a time as any to uh, talk about some of our vendors. Creating Paisley, cute original artwork with prints, stickers, and buttons. Go check them out. I would also like to mention that there is some really cool looking merchandise for this event. Um, the Jello Bowl 2024 shirt is very cool. I've already bought one to make sure that I had one and they didn't run out. Highly recommend going over to the table and checking out some of the merch they have for this as well as other really cool stuff as well as getting some merch for some of these traveling teams. And Happy Valley, of course. Yep, absolutely. I do. I need to go get myself a Jello Bowl shirt as well. I, I should have done that earlier, but I'll do it after this game. like Calgary over there making the most out of this this official timeout getting some fun jumps in whatever you got to do to to stay ready for when we get back to play it can be tough to go through these long timeouts but at the same time it's a good time to regroup get hydrated remember that roller derby it's kind of fun. All right, looks like we've got things going here again. Scoreboard is back up and correct. Let's get this game up and rolling. All right, and we are Arizona at 80 points with Calgary at 116. Projectile 004 on the track for Calgary. Gets held up at the back here by Arizona's blockers. Tried to make a little move to the outside, but just could not do it. Helen not at the front, getting pummeled by some Calgary blockers, but making it out and through for Lee Jammer. Projectile now out of the pack too, and Catching up quick, about 20 feet between them. Both jammers now entering the pack. Arizona is going to try to call it off and stop projectile. Did they do it? They did. We've got three points, Arizona, zero for Calgary. Projectile, and that is a snappy jammer. Oh, yeah. Very quick. I would be afraid to look back and see projectile coming for me. You wouldn't want to look back. You'd slow down too much. That's true. <laughs> I need all the speed I can take. Ferris Bruiser on the track with the star for Calgary. We got Cherry, number 44 for Arizona. Full packs again, nobody in the penalty beautiful box. Off, beautiful offensive sweep by the blockers for Arizona, getting Cherry out for Lee Jammer. Ferris fighting it out with the whole of Arizona's pack up there. Pivot number 213 coming up to lend a hand. That's Sleep, who has been, and I'm going to say it, pivotal nice. for Calgary. Nice. Taking the star now, also is Sleep. They got four points for Arizona, zero for Calgary. 
And you know what? Why don't we just take another time out is what Arizona says. We're going to take a time out and uh, talk some more, yes. I guess. You know, Arizona doing well um, out of that official timeout coming with some very strong jammers getting through making some points closing that gap right 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 at you says she loves you or they love you oh see this is why roller derby is amazing love you too riot All right, well, while we're in our timeout, or not, there's Matt telling us the timeout is over. Back to roller derby. Skidlet, number 182, wearing the star for Calgary. Five minutes left in the game. 87, 116 our score. We got Frida Jammer for Arizona. No pack called by the refs. Blockers have to let go, but not before they send Arizona's jammer to the infield for a little recycle. Ooh, close, but no cigar on that one. Some fancy footwork, but didn't quite make it around those Calgary blockers. Skidlet now out for lead jammer for Calgary. Not good news for Arizona. Star pass to the captain number seven for Arizona. And number four, Sugarman, doing some great blocking against Skidlet. Arizona saying, you may have had that first pass, but we're not giving you this one. Spreading the pack out to the back again. Now everybody's coming back because Arizona's jammer is going to get recycled. I'm going to drop the whole pack back into turn one again. And that is Skatey Katie. Took that hat and rolled with it. Right out of that pack for four points for Arizona. Skatey Katie looking to the bench for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of guidance there. Skidlet going to roll through. Four more points for Calgary. 4-4 four, four jam, 91-120. This has been an absolutely fantastic way to start off a weekend of Derby. Two amazing teams. Scores, scores flipped once in this game. And honestly, it's not too late. I mean... I've seen no, I have bigger. Also. I've seen bigger scores, or bigger point deficits, and less time on the clock. But Calgary going to do everything they can to keep that lead. Cole shot number two hundred one out lead jammer, and now in on a scoring trip. West Coast hitting that pack quick. Trying to pick up those points. Didn't quite get any on that one. Got taken out by the Calgary blockers pretty quickly. But Colshaw still fighting against Arizona blockers up here. Forearm call on I'm a blow by you. She did not agree with that one. I saw that head shake. Colshaw out, though. Yeah, it's tough, these final jams in a game. It can start to get a little squirrely. you got to remember to keep cool, calm, and collected. Yeah, things not looking good in the penalty box right now. Uh, there is only one Calgary blocker left on the track. Arizona also down a blocker. It looks like Coleslaw wants to just run this clock down. Well, if you're Calgary right now, that's the smart thing to do. Just keep the jams running. The point, uh, you know, the point differential isn't as important at this right now. But if they can run out the clock, maintain the lead, 
they'll be okay. But Arizona has a chance here. Cole Shaw taken to the outside by number 95, Lightning the Queen there by Arizona, working at the back with Ima Blobaya to uh, try to hold up Cole Shaw, taken again out of bounds to the inside now by Lightning. And Cole Shaw is just going to let the jam clock run out. Jam ends on time. A few more points. And as I kind of guessed, I got an official review by Arizona. That was actually quite a high-scoring jam for yeah, both teams, considering the other jams in this, this bout. So Arizona breaks the 100-point mark now, 102 to 130. 44 seconds remaining on the clock. We're in an official review now. Uh, the uh, coaches are going to have a chat with the uh, referees, and uh, we'll get you some news on what's going on with that here in just a sec. I must say there really has been some fantastic blocking in this this game. As I am a blocker, I feel like us blockers just aren't talked about quite enough. And you know, the, the hits are hard, but they are clean for the most part. And the tripods are just working so well together. It's a really great roller derby to watch. So, Crystal on the, on the uh, feed here asking uh, if there was uh, some points missed on that I had, on uh, Skid's last jam for Calgary, but I don't think so. What I believe happened there is that Skid got recycled a number of times and the pack moved quite a great distance while Skid was getting recycled, so it was only one scoring trip, I believe. Officials having a lengthy chat on this one. Talk about some more of our vendors while they talk. We've got Rise Body Work, decreased pain and increased performance with Rise Body Work, especially for those skaters who are going to be out here giving it giving it their all this weekend. We got Hell's Bell Designs, Derby Fan Home Decor and Accessories, including stickers, tattoos, koozies, artwork, and more. Satara Lynn, unique polymer clay earrings, keychains, and more. Made by Mooner, not just for Derby. We also have great Mother's Day gift ideas. Stop by our table to see for yourself. Got uh, Spike going to come over and give us the news here. So uh, Arizona reviewing... Uh, for the lack of a forearm call on Calgary Blocker. We'll see what the result of that review is after the uh, head ref gives their decision. And again, next up we have at 1 p.m. Happy Valley Molly Morbids versus Minnesota. All right, review is done. Uh, the officials disagree. They think the no call was the correct call, so it will stand. No more timeout opportunities for Arizona. Um, a little bit of an unfortunate position to be in as a coach uh, with, you know, only a little bit of time on the clock. But see if they can make the best of this. Got Probably Helen last year. jammer for Arizona. And Chris from Calgary with a very quick lead jam pickup, lead jammer pickup. And Chris Mayas gonna take her time coming around the track there. Uh, like we were talking about before, you know, best, best strategy here for Calgary is just to hold up the uh, Arizona jammer and uh, run the clock down. But Arizona's jammer is out and on a scoring trip Chris Myas is stuck at the back of the pack there. All four Arizona blockers giving her a real bunch of trouble. 
Helenotti almost out of the pack. And with four points for Arizona. Yeah, it looks like a 4-4 jam for everybody, or for both teams. And that is the game. Yep. Done on time here. 106, 103, the unofficial score. We'll wait till the scorekeeping team verifies that everything is correct. Those of you in the building are welcome to come up to the line and congratulate these skaters on an awesome game. The rolling whistle from Matt tells me that that is the final score. Winners today, Calgary Roller Derby All-Stars. 134-106. We're gonna take a little bit of a break here. I'm not, looks like the uh, next game is scheduled to start at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Join us back here on the live stream. And it's been a pleasure calling with you today, Colonel. We'll Likewise. see you for the next one.